You know, this project started in Los Angeles, right? We had won the uh, the design, let's say, competition for the Chargers project, and they wanted to work with us on that project. And we'd done a design for them that was like a version of Levi's, you know, 2.0, because that's what they wanted. And it was about two, three weeks after we won the decision that they were going to go with us as their design architects for that project, that they asked us to make all the seats black and silver. And it didn't take too long to figure out who they were talking to. <laughs> MDs thought about what the guest experience would be like, and it's always about football. One of the keys to keeping the intimacy and the environment of the seating bowl intact is to pull everyone down and tight and really compact all of the floors, one another, so that everything's tight and close to the action. What we wanted to do here, though, was increase the opening of this club to the field. That allowed us to get us more head height between the existing floor because we pushed this portion of the club down and it allowed us to pull it out into the bowl here. So some of those seats disappear and that all becomes what we call the patio space. There's really not another building like it. This is one of the few buildings I think in the league where the outside and the inside feel like the same building. It's all the same brand, all the same theme, all obviously Raiders. We design to present, so whatever we're designing, we want to make sure that it's presented in its best way. We put a lot of emotion into this to make it as best as we could with the time frame we were given, and it's satisfying to see it now. You know, this was the original concept for this space, was the torch that went through this level and on up. So this torch actually, you know, the base of it's down there. And we cut the hole in there, and we said we should put a bar around the whole thing, and it'll be the biggest party in the building. And it's cool to understand the technology that went behind it to make it the largest 3D printed object in the world. So this is an incredible space because you have the bar in the center, and then you can walk one way and watch and feel the game and be on the edge and see the strip. These suites we're in now were not part of the original design. They asked us a way to increase the, the suite count, and so we came up with this idea of a new product. We call them the mini suites, but we feathered these suites in on the corner to increase their suite count. Yeah. Look at this. Yeah, that pops a little better. Yeah. Great design doesn't have to be expensive, it just has to be creative. If you look at it from above, the banquet allows you to open up the room, but that decision then creates a, a more prominent head wall for food and the TV in the space. So again, it feels more like a room and less like, you know, you just smashed a bunch of sweets down there. There's a lot of design work that went into disguising the structure that's above our heads that's trying to fly through this wall. And I think what we're looking at now is a really clean interpretation of that. So you don't know it's there. It certainly feels Raiders. It certainly feels Raiders. You definitely know where you are in this building at all like times. Yeah, so this particular space is interesting in this building. And as David said, it's somewhat of a first in a lot of ways, just because it was designed more as a space, another sort of premium space of the building, and less a sort of utilitarian way to get to the premium product. And you'll notice in here, it's opened up intentionally to provide action stations where chefs can prepare food, the guests can come out. And again, it's, it's widened intentionally to create a hospitality environment. And again, it's sort of rooted in Vegas being a hospitality capital of the world. And, how do you bring that into the building and offer something unique that can be monetized as part of the, the overall program and what people experience when they come to the game? Lots of places to get a drink. Yes, for sure. Which is the way I, I like it. it. Yeah, exactly. So this is another space that's unique to this building. There are other buildings that have 50-yard line suites that, that enter off the field, but none that I know of that have this kind of outdoor patio space where the club comes right up to the edge of the field. Again, this will be filled with furniture and it'll be a nice place for all the, the guests in this club to come out and be right on the field. Because remember, the field tray comes in and at the field level, the grass for the NFL game is at the same level as this concrete. And so it'll be like you're standing on the field right next to the players. I think another really special sort of experience and integration of club with the game. Uh, it's, it's part of how you sort of break that moment from when you walk into a stadium and then you enter a nightclub. This is gonna be a good party right here. Mm -hmm. This I don't is know if absolutely like this unique. Man, no one's ever done this before. This didn't exist in the early phases of the design. We cut back the lower bowl seats. We slid this nightclub under there. It's an experience and an amenity that's perfect for Vegas and never been done before. And I'm really not sure any other place could do this. This is one of those only in Vegas kind of moments, but oh my God. I would love to watch the game from right here. It's going to be amazing. And when a player comes to the end zone, it's a wall of people. And we focused on that over and over again. And what it allowed us to do is it improved the entire club because it's going to create a demand for people to get right on the field. I mean, there's other buildings that do that as well, but they don't offer a premium amenity that's associated with the space. So people can come in, 
crowd the front row. It's always going to be packed full of people at all times. If you leave, somebody's going to take your spot. So that, that's a solved problem. But it also allowed these to become valuable because they could see over the people standing in front of them. So these sight lines aren't blocked. And you just create a tiered demand back. Definitely want to watch the game from here. We will. I, I do think there are a lot of firsts here in this building. Architect's only as good as their best client. The Raiders were a great client, and they were open to trying new things like this. I've worked with a lot of clients that don't want to be first in anything. That's not the way the Raiders were. They wanted to do something different from the very beginning. They supported our creativity. We worked really well together, and the results sort of speak for themselves.